This is the Echo PB2520 gas powered leaf blower. I'm going to unbox it, we'll check it out, see what it looks like. I'll take it outside, we'll see how easily it starts on the first start, and I'll compare it to my Ryobi uh, turbofan gas powered leaf blower. Now, this was $149 at Home Depot. Uh, the Ryobi that I bought maybe a year or two ago was, I think, about $129. This cost a little bit more, uh, but the Ryobi works pretty good. I've just been taking it from one house to another, and I bought this one so I don't have to keep transporting my other leaf blower. I did also buy the Echo uh, Premium Fuel that's pre-mixed. I usually only use these like three times a year, um, and this fuel here will last over a year uh, while it's in the piece of equipment that you put it in. I think this was maybe $6.97. It's quite expensive, but for as little as I use the leaf blowers, uh, it's nice that we you use this, they start up every time and, and always run perfect, even if they've been sitting for six months. So, open up the top, see what it looks like inside. Tip it there for you guys, and hopefully nothing falls out. So you got a two-cycle oil there. That's you're going to mix that with a gallon of gasoline if you're going to mix it yourself. And looks like you got owner's manual. That's a quick start guide. And now we're to the equipment. So, looks like there's one of the blower tubes. There's the other one. And here's the actual blower unit. This has a two year commercial warranty, five year uh, residential. And nothing else in the box. Alright, so looks like these two tubes here are going together. in place. So there is the blower and looks like you can have a start stop button there. There's your trigger, primer bulb, here's where your fuel is going to go. And I'll check out the quick start guide and see uh, on the first startup what you need to do. A lot of times you have to prime these like 10 times and uh, We'll see how it starts. We'll see how easy it is, and then we'll compare it to that Ryobi. All right, so this is going to be the first time that I start the new Echo blower. Uh, but just for comparisons, here's my Ryobi. This is about maybe a year, year and a half old. I can tell you that the Ryobi is quite a bit heavier, and the Echo does feel a lot uh, easier to lift and uh, kind of move around in your hands. But we'll start this one up so you guys can hear a uh, noise difference because I think the Ryobi is going to be quite a bit louder. So the directions say start this with full throttle. Put the on off switch to the on of course. And then the choke is this lever right here which is going to be up. And then to prime this eight times. There's one, two. And then it says pull four to five times.
So I do have to say I'm quite impressed at how easy it was to start for the first time. Uh, it did start a lot easier, I remember, than this Ryobi. So I'll set this off to the side for now. And now I haven't used this since uh, probably October, November, once the leaves fell. So it's June right now, so it's probably been setting seven, eight months and has not been started. So we're going to start this one, see how easy this is to start. And all your controls for this one are over here. You're going to step the throttle to full, full choke. You're also going to prime this. This, this one's uh, been used several times. I'm going to prime that five times and see how easy this starts. enough to know that it does always start fairly quickly and I'm not surprised at all how easy it was to start. Now one nice thing about the Ryobi is it does come with this strap which uh, you do need it uh, especially if you're going to be using this for quite a while because this thing is quite a bit heavier uh, than the Echo. So I'm going to start this back up again and I'm going to run it full throttle and then I'll start the Echo run that one full throttle and you guys can kind of compare uh, noise level that way. Now I'm going to use the Echo here for, probably for a couple months uh, before I do a full review and opinion on it. This is just kind of unboxing and kind of what to expect and uh, just as a comparison to the Ryobi because if you are at Home Depot you're probably going to be looking between this one and this one and for a $30 difference maybe you'll get the Echo maybe you'll get the Ryobi. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of a comparison and some information to make a, a good decision. We'll start this one back up again. to see how this starts because it's not necessarily cold, it's not necessarily warm. I'll turn the on switched on. Then you move your throttle position lever to the back towards you. And we'll put the choke on and I'll prime it two times. Alright. Let's prime it some more. difference as far as starting sound except this one is a little bit lighter weight uh, does not come with a strap but it does have holes for a strap now just as my kind of comparison what I've just seen the Ryobi does seem to blow a little more air seems like it uh, it is heavier uh, but you do get the strap 
uh, they're both going to start uh, fairly easy. Uh, once I get used to this, it's going to fire right up. So I'll continue to use the both and then I'll do a full review and opinion uh, on the Echo. Uh, I think this one's a little bit quieter. I'll see what the, the video is to you guys. Definitely lighter, a little more ergonomic. It's, it's a little easier to kind of hold. Uh, the handle's a lot thinner on this one as well. This has got a thick uh, rubber coated handle. Feels a little better in your hand. If you have smaller hands, this might fit you a little bit better. Anyway, I hope you learned a little bit from the video and I thank you for watching.